Hi everyone, I'm Yun Hao Ge from USC. Today I will present our work, Neurosim, Learning to Generate Training Data with NERV. Here are all the collaborators. They are from either Microsoft Research or USC. We try to minimize humans' effort on collecting and labeling data to train computer vision models. This process is time-consuming and it's hard to guarantee the captured data has the same distribution as target domain. So in our paper, we propose NeuroSIM, where given any test scenario, we can generate on-demanded data such that if you train an object detector use our generated data, it performs well on the test scenario. This problem also related to train test domain gap, where if train and test data has gap caused by pose or zoom or illumination, the performance will drop a lot here compare with yellow and gray bar. And our method is trying to use optimization to fill this gap. So how to frame the task into a mathematical problem? We can treat it as a bilevel optimization, where the goal is to learn the optimal rendering parameter psi here. So given the rendering parameter, we can put it through the neural renderer like nerve and generate some synthetic data. D train, and we can use the D train to train the object detector and test it on the validation set. So there is an outer loop where we try to find the best parameter psi to minimize the validation loss, where there is also an inner loop because the object detector parameter theta has a constraint to minimize the train loss. To solve the problem, we borrow the idea from previous paper AutoSim, where they use Newton's equation to approximate the, the gradient of validation loss with respect to psi. Well, in the previous paper, the new renderer is non-differentiable, which means the gradient may not that accurate. So in our pipeline, we use NERF as our new renderer and we present the first fully differentiable synthetic data pipeline that uses NERF in a closed loop with a target application loss function. To make the bio optimization more efficient and accurate, we propose three technical tools. First, for the rendering parameter, we do reparameterization to make it differentiable. For example, pose, we have eight predefined beings, which follows categorical distribution. So we first sample from the categorical distribution, use Gumball softmax, and then we sample from uniform being, and then we use NERF to generate the high quality images. The second tool called twice forward, once backward, which means we first compute the train validation gradient, and then compute the NERF to speed up the process and release the requirement of high memory. The third tool called patchwise gradient computation because NERF can be rendered in patchwise. So we compute the gradient also patchwise to release the requirement of high GPU memory. We conduct experiments on different dataset. First, on YCB synthetic dataset, which has 21 different household objects. And exercise represent the increase of train and test gap. And the y-axis represents the accuracy. We can find the baselines when the train and test has a larger and larger gap, the performance drop drop a lot. But our method can sort of fill the gap in both pose, zoom, and illumination train test domain gap. On the larger data set on all objects, our average MAP also have big improvement. The experiments on YCB in the wild dataset, which is a real-world dataset, our method still performs the best when there are train and test domain gap. On the larger and more complex dataset called YCB video, where there are multiple objects in a complex scene, our method still performs the best compared with the baselines. We also conduct experiments to show the interpretability of neuroscience. You can see before the optimization, the test distribution which dominant in being one has a large gap with the training distribution which is uniform or dominant with other beam. But after our optimization, we can guarantee our generated images has same distribution as the test domain. Our code is released. Thanks for your listening.